So we've talked a lot about um, output devices, how we use system out to send uh, data to the console area down here or to your, your screen. But uh, we haven't talked a lot about um, system in. Now system is system in, does, it has a built-in Java API object um, and it's basically the scanner object and it connects uh, that scanner object connects the system in to basically read uh, keyboard inputs, and that's primarily your, your your primary input device to a computer. Uh, you can also say a mouse is a input device as well, but, but for now we'll we'll stick with keyboard inputs. To actually use the scanner uh, scanner object, you have to import um, the uh, import the scanner class inside the utility folder inside of your project. So how you do that is you import it, uh, the utility file. So you import, you import the scanner class. So you'll go here and you'll type import Java that utility or util dot scanner. And that's what you need to import the scanner class. All right. Um, and then in the main body of your, your program, um, you'll go ahead and uh, declare an object. And we'll say, we'll call it just like in your book, scanner and then uh, we'll call it keyboard. And we want to, and so that will hold um, all of the, the, uh, the data. So just like a variable declaration, um, we'll say new scanner and then uh, type system in that in. And uh, we'll go ahead and say we want, we're going to interact with the user and then say system out. Uh, we want uh, to print um, enter your first name. And let's make a colon here and then a space. And uh, to actually input um, uh, it, to, to grab that input, we'll say we'll go ahead and set, create a um, string a string uh, class like variable string um, we'll say we first again so we've declared first as a string variable and we'll say first is equal to keyboard dot and then we'll say um, uh, we'll, we'll use one of the the various methods that is included in the scanner class. And you can find that in table 2, text 17 in your book. And uh, we'll just say, uh, for this one, we'll say next line. And then, uh, again, we can have the system system dot out print line uh, first and so let's go ahead and run this program and it's asking me down here to enter my first name 
type in rab, prints out rab again, all right? Um, so there are various, uh, various methods you can use. I use uh, next line. Uh, you can uh, definitely use, uh, if you're doing math, you can say next integer. So we can make a simple, um, a simple calculator here. Uh, so let's erase all of this. <coughs> and we'll create uh, a, a couple of different integer variables or a few, num1, num2, num3. And here you'd want to put in system out print line enter an integer value and then you would look for we'll say num num1 is equal to keyboard dot next integer And then you could say again, system net out that print line, enter another integer value. And then here you can set num2 equal to keyboard dot next integer. And so once you've you gathered num1, num2, you can set num3 equal to num1. And then in this case, we'll just add num1 and num2 and set them equal to. And then system the out the print line. Uh, and we'll print out num3. So uh, let's see when all this works. compiling and we'll do two and we'll say uh, four it prints out six and you can make this a little bit more elegant uh, by saying uh, saying the sum of the two integers is and then add that can uh and then let's run this again it takes a little bit to compile we'll say again uh, four plus five say the sum of two integers is nine uh, so very simple calculator will make ever more uh, ex extravagant and complicated calculators as the semester goes on.